welcome back to the channel. Your host with the most, Tomboy Double O, and you're currently watching Tomboy TV. Now, today in this video, we are headed to New York, New York City, uh, for the pickup of the insta reservation of the Jordan One mids, as well as supposedly maybe a stinker pass for the Air Force One parent noise. Now, I know this video is a little bit late, and I did actually this is already home of just editing the video only because I didn't have time to film an intro because when this was happening, I was in a rush. I was two hours to go before they closed Nike. And I still had to go to, I was literally in Jersey, so I had to get to New York 5th Ave in the meantime. So, it did get a little hectic, did get a little bit rushed. It was kind of short, but I hope you guys enjoy. And at the end, I'll show you guys the unboxing and the review of the items we do end up picking up. So, let's go. Hope you guys enjoy. Gentlemen, your boys out in Midtown right now. Um, we're very late. We're very late. We have 30 minutes left, so we have to close to pick up these journal one minutes. I know I haven't been talking much, mainly because your boys in such a rush. And look at the beautiful city behind me, yo. So we're about to head. We're on like 50, no, 40 second. We have to get to, uh, no 46, but to get to 50 second. So I'll catch you guys at night. Two hours later. We finally are able to get on the camera because I was in such a rush. We're still not done yet. I still have to rush on out of here and get to uh, Soho because I do have to pick up an item from one of my boys. Uh, but basically, we finally made it to Nike also. Yo. Hold up. Before we get into this pickup right here, your boy's very ecstatic. For once, we hit on something good on a limited item from Full Locker. So we did pick up the pair. We got the confirmation for the Air Force One. Yeah. G-Dragon Nike Air Force One pair of noise right over here. So hopefully we'll be picking those up tomorrow. But what we got right now is this item right over here. Now he picked up a size 10 and a half. We hit these actually together, the sneakers pass. He told he was like, yo, sneakers pass, sneakers pass, sneakers pass on yesterday. And I picked them up right away. Now at first they're going for retail. So I was like, oh, I'm not even gonna bother picking these up. Next thing I know after everyone took L's on sneakers and he shot up like crazy. So I'm gonna show mine at home just because we gotta start getting out of here. But these are the fearless uh, org face. Facetism, like face orgasm is what I call them, like, you know, put them together. Honestly, pretty good quality overall. I really do like it, but once again, a full review will be coming soon. Oh, look, it says face tasm. Face tasm right over there. Jordan 1 with a pull tab, though. Oh, I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest. But they said leftovers wouldn't be done tonight, so I was like, okay, I guess. Because I did sell, like, three pairs of these, not going to lie. Even though I do only have one, just because I was trying to confirm. Because it went up to, like, $300 today, and I was just taking, taking bids, like, you know what I mean? And so that didn't work out as well. And I'm hopefully I'm going to come here and get leftovers after I figure out how to pick up these paranoids. But anyways, we got to get out of here. We're going to head to Soho and I'll catch you guys hopefully with the item. Come, come, come. <laughs> Damn, so we got them soon. What, we you cooking up all of them? All of them? Shit, about to cook out the entire fucking stuff. The entire establishment? Oh, what first size? Come? First come, first serve. Convoy TV Plus, you about it first though. Damn, quality insane. Yeah, we'll put these back. We don't want them. They're dirt. Kind of dirty. Bozo, get out of my way. So anyways, y'all, we had Urban Necessities right now. Um, we did get out of Full Locker. I picked up the Palace item real quick. What? What? Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So I did pick up the Palace item real quick. And um, we're going to show you guys at home as well as the other shoes that I did pick up as well. Just because it's kind of hectic right now. But it's about to be closing for Urban Necessities. We did a really cool filming. You guys can see they got some fire items out here. A lot of cool stuff. Yo, Jalen, what'd you pick up today, bro? Come here. Alright, so, um, What's the word? I got these, What's the uh, word? What's the word? I forgot what they call it. Amy Lendior. I forgot the name of them, Yeah, that you brought to the pronunciation. I honestly, I don't really care, but the new balances that came out, they got shut down at the release, and, uh, came online. Yeah. And I got up here right here. So, that's Yeah, this is fire. I really, this is yeah. my favorite one. They came out with the V2 and the V5. Yeah. You guys can see Yo, Made in America for this one right here. You guys can see the ALD on the back. Full look, New Balance 990s, made in USA. Let's see that. Let's see the packaging as well. Let's see the packaging. Oh, here we got M99, US Men 6, style botanical green. So if you open up the inside, over 50, 75 years of authentic craftsmanship in the room. And then we got the other pair there as well. Now this man did also get the Kith, uh, not Kith trees, but Kith Disney plushes. But yeah, they already put them downstairs for the client. And then we got some blazers out here. Yo, you thought you got exclusive access? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. How you feeling? How you feeling? What you about to do with them? Hold, sell now. What's the word? Um, prices are dropping right now. Honestly, I'm gonna dump it to Harlem reseller right now. Two hundred. Yeah. Uh, a, little, a little more. A little more than that. Uh, but a little more than that. But 
Actually, you know what? Probably gonna dump it to my son. Yeah, but, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, no. Tommy Boy TV Plus new first though. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We on that. We on that. So, anyways, yo, we're gonna finish. I know this video was short. Wait. He flaked. Oh he flaked. <laughs> this video was short. I probably have to redo the intro and all that. But um, you guys saw sneakers pass tonight, and I'm going live for the Air Force Ones. We just got the fours. What the what the fours? Yo, did you get any Air Force Ones? I don't want to talk about that. You got any Air Force Ones? Not yet. He got a size 13. You know what's crazy? Estonia had 113. How many? How many? One. I got the stock numbers on my phone. You see? Damn. Yeah, actually. Let's see, that. Let's see that. I want to see stock numbers. Sure, um, I can't show the name. Because, you know, no, you're good. You're good. Cover everything up. Cover everything up. Blunder, blunder, blunder. Time Boy TV Plus. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Let, me get, let me give him some time. Just know that these were limited, these Air Forces. And I was surprised they were available in Jersey. So, um, as you can see, quality is one. There's one seven and a half at Central One West, 181st. And there's one seven and a half at 125th. There's two seven and a half at 1460 Broadway. Then one seven and a half at Queens. And then two seven and a half at 34th. And then we should go to size 13, the pay he hit. Yeah, I yeah, show let's him. see, let's see. I got proof for him when he gets in the Let's see this one, let's see this one. Okay. There's a lot of size 10s, by the way, if you guys didn't know. There is, right? A lot of size 10s. I don't know, 9.5, 10, and 10.5 10 are the they most common. had a common. lot of size 10s. All right, so size 13, there was one, one, two, one, two. And then let's look at Staten Island. Oh, one pair. Damn, your boy got dumb money. He got the one pair at that store. Damn. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take it out, but he took like a W. He didn't hit what the LA's were. It's okay. He has something now. Facts, facts. So we're about to end this one right here. I'm gonna catch you guys at the crib at the end of this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Catch you guys at the dorm. Yo, check this shit out, bro. Check this fucking shit out. Watch this. Watch this. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. And we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the day was lit. They was good. It was calm. You know, there was a little bit of a short vlog in the city, but we are out here. We are back at home as well. You guys can see we got a lot of big things coming with the storage right now. Long story short, this Saturday the news should be out about what's coming down on TomboyTV.com. Currently, the password page is up, but you know we got a lot of good things coming on that site. Been grinding, grinding so much on that site. So hope you guys enjoy when it does come out. But we are here to finish off this video with a quick little unboxing and review of what we did pick up from the city. It was a good day. It wasn't a bad day. I made a lot of breach on these one pairs of shoes more than I did on these pairs that. I did get, if you guys saw, I don't know if I included in this video, that I did end up securing a pair via Full Locker, but, Full Locker bag right here, this is a Jordan 1 Mids. Now, they did end up doing first come, first serve for the rest of the pairs that were not picked up, and as a result, prices did go down a little bit, but I did sell mine right away as soon as the release on sneakers did come out. I put up an ask for 300 and these actually did sell. I had one of the highest sales on Cockex. So, that's the, that's the one good thing about Cockex sometimes is like, on a release day, sometimes prices go up so much that you can easily dump them. But of course, there's a quick recession and prices go down like another $100. So I did come out on top on this pair. You guys can see it's a size 12. Not really a good size for mids at all, but you know, your boy did end up coming on top. Of, uh, did come out on top for these once again. We do got the fearless card right here. Limits like fears are often just an illusion. Very much playing off. So the Jordan 1 fearless. Same thing. We got the same paper right here. I'll show you guys a little bit. Same paper. Same everything. And we cut off and what bam we have them right over here now i'm really not a big journal i hate mids like i think they're actually disgusting so I'd be like oh like there's two different sizes hold on hold on hold on there's two different sizes to every story some people say it's only like half an inch of a difference but it really does make a massive difference so here we go we got the face tasm it's like a face orgasm is what i compare them to uh, we have a few different color schemes coming down. We got a white, a nice navy blue that you really don't see often on a Jordan 1 silhouette. We do got a little bit of an orange and then the red face tassel, you guys can see, is right over there. And on the back, you do have the orange pull tab, which a pull tab, as I said in the video, it's not really common to see a pull tab on a Jordan 1. But material is good. I really do like this material. Like, typically on Jordan 1s, the reason why I don't like them is because they use such cheap materials. That's what they only cost like $130 to $140, depending on the silhouette. And it looks like they got speckled bottoms, I think. Like slightly speckled bottoms, or maybe these were just used. So I didn't even put these on yet. I swear I did not put these on yet. And it looks like they got some speckled bottoms, which is not good because your boy needs to secure that big ass sale. But we'll see how this ends up going. But we do have the fearless tag on the right shirt right over here, you guys can see. Ba bam. 
fearless. And then it says on this one, limits like fears are often just and are illusions. Same thing as the card. You guys can see, boom, right there. Here's a little close-up of the sneaker. Jordan 1 mid, face tasms. Cool concept, cool silhouette, and we also have the Jumpman logo right over there. Now, this is the closest thing I'm going to do for review. I don't think these deserve their own video right here. I only do separate videos if they are a crazy shoot or they do deserve their own video. But these right now, to me, they don't, nah, I don't know. They're, they're mids. Nah, I, I still, I'll be posting a picture of these most likely, and that's what brings me on to the next item, actually. We're going to place those down right there. And to the limited, limited palace. Item. Now, I did miss out on this online. This was the palace... Let me see. The, the official name is P17 uh, Duck Out Knit Black. I did miss out on this, so I had to pick it up for resale. I paid a little bit on top, but you know, it is what it is. Sometimes you just got to do it. I really, really do like this piece a lot, and I'm excited I was able to get it. Now, this was a retail of $165, I want to say. And boom, right there, we got a nice little palace pickup. So the thing that we do got, well, let me move more in frame. We do got the P Duck right over here, palace coming down the side. Beautiful, yo. I, I'm surprised this isn't flipping for more right now because it's such a good looking piece. I really do like it. It's simple, it's somewhat simple, and just have that iconic duck from this past season. And on the sleeve, you do have nice embroidery leads to the Palace of Wisdom, which you often don't see. Like, this is not a bad retail price for all the freaking, uh, all the. Oh, wait, no, it says something more. The Road of, of Excess. The Road of Excess leads to the Palace of Wisdom. So you guys can see a lot of cool embroidery coming down on this piece. I'm very grateful I was able to get this one once again. And I'm surprised once again that it's not doing the high because it's a sweat. It is a wool knit sweater, which is maybe why a lot of people aren't going for this one. But thing is, it's I think they put a it's not the it's not that pricey for what it is, for what you're paying for on the sweater. And once again, it is a wool knit sweater, so people are not really big fans of it. It's kind of tough to rock sometimes, but this is a Walnut sweater, and these were just the two pickups we had from today. Uh, just wanted to finish off this vlog. Now, I also did post up the Air Jordan 11 bread video, so make sure you check that out if you guys want to see that. Um, other than that, though, I think that's just about it. I'll be posting the Paranoise Live Cop and Insert video tomorrow, and we'll have a How to Cop Guide for the Adidas Easy Boost 350 V2 Triple Blacks, which is sad because they're restocking because I still have my pairs, so... That's why easy, no, that's why I don't recommend holding any easies anymore because you don't know what they're going to do over there. So anyways, that's the fearless the most. Thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.